So the key is regardless of the circumstances or whatever environment you're in, you want to be empowered to know how to make the right choices. When you think you know what you're doing, you're actually probably just a beginner. Hey, Coach Kyle Brown here, Celebrity Transformation Coach and the CEO of Fit365 Shakes. You know, I want to tell you a quick funny story. Whenever somebody goes out with me to a restaurant and they know my background, they look at me like I'm Buddha when it's time to order, that I'm going to give them some master answer to solve all their problems with regards to their health and fitness based on the decision that I make for what food goes in my belly. Quite ironic. So this one time I was out with uh, the National Police Athletics Activities League, PAL. It's an inner city youth group that uh, Nationwide have done a lot of work for for years and years. And Michael Cooper, who is a Lakers legend back from the Showtime days, is sitting with us. He's sitting right to the right of me. And I've been guiding him and counseling him a bit on food decisions and whatnot, but we hadn't gotten that deep yet. All of a sudden the waitress grabs him and says, so sir, what would you like to order? Looks around and you can tell there's a little bit of a panic because we're in a nice fancy steakhouse and I hadn't gotten to the point yet of telling him, hey, steak is a great choice. So he's quickly looking at the menu and him in and hawing and he orders an iceberg lettuce salad and that's it i'm dying i'm just like oh my god i'm like are you sure are you sure you don't want a steak you sure he's like yeah i'm sure i'm sure and he's trying to be all proud of himself for making this decision <laughs> but i'm sitting here going this guy is a giant incredibly fit big guy who's trying to make some good decisions but that's not going to be one of them so the food arrives and he's got these iceberg wedges sitting there and the rest of us have these beautiful steaks laid out and uh whew, i'll tell you at the end of the day, sometimes it just takes getting that high level education if you really want those transformation results so you're not sitting here starving on an iceberg salad. So here's the deal. When you're a busy leader, the last thing you have time to do is follow some sort of program that is either full-time meal delivery or cooking all of your meals at home. We have to deal with a lot of unique variables. Lots of meetings out over food, lots of travel for work, and a lot of different opportunities that are super exciting but put us in scenarios that are a little different than your stay-at-home fitness person who can just do meal planning or someone who's at home having their dinner after their nine to five day. So you're out at a restaurant trying to be healthy, stay on plan, you've got your business meeting, look at the menu, what the heck do you order? So you're looking at the menu and you've got burgers and fries and pizzas and if you're at a nicer place you've got tacos, burritos, wok bowls, here's your burgers and sandwiches. So what do you do? You start looking up to the bowls You say, what's my protein source? You've got chicken, filet, salmon, shrimp, all great options. If you're going with the veggie source, great, but avoid that soy, that tofu. And you say, what are my carbs? Well, you've got all these great veggies. Find the right ones for you. Avoid the soy and avoid the rice. Swap that rice out and get yourself double vegetables and you can also do double protein. If you're gonna get an appetizer you start looking through here and the problem is you see a lot of this stuff is fried or breaded or you've got bread on these sliders and you're like I really want an appetizer what am I gonna do? Something here like the spicy broccoli you can swap out the soy sauce and go for a healthier sauce option you're moving up over here, you've got things like the seared ahi, and you've also got things like the ahi pokey. Awesome, awesome options for quick, easy appetizers that are great finger food choices. So if you want to go with a lighter lunch and you're looking at a salad option, you want to make sure as you're looking down on the salad, so one thing you want to avoid is iceberg lettuce. It's basically water, no nutrients. You don't want that iceberg. Instead, choose something like a romaine and make sure that in your salad, if you're doing that, you're looking at your dressing choices, choosing something like a balsamic vinaigrette, maybe uh, oil and vinegar with some lemon. But the stuff that you want to make sure you're doing is if you're going with a chicken salad, you want to get enough healthy fats. Adding in the avocado is going to be really key. 
Maybe going with some sort of a healthy cheese for a little extra fat as well could be a great choice. But making sure that there's a nice healthy fat option, maybe doing the salmon as your protein source so that you do get extra healthy fats, you'll be good to go. So this is how you eat like a king. You want to make sure that you've got good quality protein, good quality vegetables, healthy sauces, and that you have enough dietary fat in your meal so you leave full and satisfied, not feeling fat and bloated. So the key is regardless of the circumstances or whatever environment you're in, you want to be empowered to know how to make the right choices so that you can have tons of variety, enjoy the finer things in life, yet feel full and satisfied after you eat, not feel fat and bloated. And the key in that situation is to be a good observer. After you're done eating, how am I feeling? What made me feel that way? And how can I make a better choice next time? So if you're ready to transform your life forever and you want tons of healthy options and know how to make the right empowered decisions regardless of your environment, come join our free group on Facebook called the Fit CEO Network and we will help you live the life you want the way you want it. You're gonna constantly repeat that same problem and then slowly move yourself through that problem to come to a full realization that the problem isn't much of a problem at all.